Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing another tutorial on how to make a whole illusion with a letter in Adobe Illustrator. This time I'll be doing it with letters with curves, so let's get started. Okay, in order to get started, we're going to be using a curvy set of letters here. I'm going to be using my initials GS. So, I'm going to go to our type tool, and we're going to want to use a large font for this, large bold font. You can use any one you want, but I'm going to use Feature or Bold. I'm going to use curvy letters this time because when you use a letter like E, like I did last time, it creates uh, a lot of blocky shapes that are easy to make this illusion with. So if you want to go for that, then go for letters like L and uh, I and stuff. Those have a very good um, effect when using this 3D effect. But this time I'm going to be using two curvy letters because that's a bit harder and it will get you a different result depending on how you do it. So I'm going to use GS my initials because they both have very curve curve size to them and I'm going to go up to type create outlines okay I'm going to go to the corner here and hold shift and drag it on the corner to rotate it 45 degrees once you do that you can go up to effect 3d rotate Hit preview and set all of your angles here to zero. And we can move our top one here back so our uh, letters get rotated backwards into 3D space. I'm gonna hit OK. And there are three steps you need to do in order to get rid of this. Uh, stuff that's left behind after you use the rotating tool in Adobe Illustrator. We want to be able to get at our points on our letters that we rotated and edit them so we can make our logo. So first thing you do is go up to object, expand appearance to get rid of those ghost letters that are left behind. Then we're going to hit control shift G twice and then hit release mask. Or you can right click it and hit uh, release clipping mask as well that this invisible box that's left behind can be deleted and our letters are now editable with points now i want to take our pen tool i want to create straight lines going down from points on the inside of the shape that have black below them uh, we want to create lines that go down in order to create this 3D illusion and with blocky letters like E and L you can easily find those points and create square shapes in your in your logo. But with curves you have to go to the ends of these curves going on the inside and find the farthest piece to the side so you can go down and hold shift create a straight line coming down to create that shape as if there's a curve going around here. And just make lines for every part here. I like to make my lines go past the outside of our shape because sometimes the shape builder tool will not register properly. And we want this to create separate shapes so we can change colors. I'm gonna to go to the end of this side here. Sometimes there are anchor points at the very ends so you can just use those as a guide, go from there. And just do this for all of the shapes that you need. You can do full words of this if you want. I'm just doing these letters because they make for a good icon for your business. Go about right there. And that's all we need. We can select everything. Use our shape builder. And left click on each individual shape that we've made on the inside and then hold alt and get rid of any little points that are left over on the outsides. With that, every shape should be individualized so you can change them however you want. Uh, if they're grouped up for some reason, you can hit control shift G to ungroup. Now let's change color here. The colors I've chosen are some dark blue colors that will work nicely for this, but we need to figure out which side is our light and which side is our dark. Depending on how you rotate, this could be different for every single person. So, so just try to 
uh, find out where you want your light to be coming from and set it to that. I'm going to be going for the right side being my dark side and the left side being my light. So in order to find that, I'm going to use this shape, this shape, this one, and this one. And those should give us our dark. I'm going to go to my blues here, set to a darker blue, then select the rest of them, set them to a lighter blue. Well, that looks very good so far, but we can do a little better and create a gradient on them. Gradients aren't required for logos, but they do give it a nice, nice bit of pizzazz, but sometimes it's frowned upon because gradients are a bit of an easy way to make something look good. And you want your logos to look good as solid colors, because if they need to be printed on black and white, then yeah, gradients won't do that well with that. So I'm going to select everything. And set them to a gradient. I'm going to go to my gradient options, go to the angle, and set it to negative 90. This will make it so our light is at the top and our dark is at the bottom. I'm going to change the colors to the same colors we used up there, the light being our lighter blue and the dark being our darker blue. When you set everything to the same gradient though, it gets pretty blurred in there and you can barely see the shapes that we've made. So we're going to uh, leave the this gradient that we just made as our darkest gradient and we're going to make a lighter gradient for the areas that we've made light up here to give that same illusion. I'm going to left click and hold shift on all of these areas that we want to be lighter and edit the gradient so that it's one slot up on our gradient swatch. And that makes a lighter effect. And with that, we are done. Leave a like and subscribe if you learned anything. Thank you.